may be wondering why I am recording in my bathroom. Um, it's simply because it's the quietest room in the house. Um, and I wanted to do a little bit of reading. Uh, so, mm. um, this is from my book, The Seven Sacraments of Health. And this is chapter seven, the, the chapter titled Rest. And this is what I'm dealing with, as we know. Um, my family has COVID. My son is not infected, thank the goddess. Um, so we're doing everything we can to keep that from happening. We're masking, hand washing, kind of staying to ourselves in here. Although my husband's kind of gone back to work part time. Um, not, I mean, he's working help from home. So, um, yeah, I think I'm on the mend, but uh, I'm still resting. And so I want to talk about the importance of rest. Um, it is very important that we relearn the art of resting and relaxing. Not only does it help prevent the onset of many illnesses that develop through chronic tension and worrying, it allows us to clear our minds, focus, and find creative solutions to problems. And I, you know, this is so important. And this is, uh, this quote is from Thich Nhat Hanh, the Vietnamese Buddhist monk, who I believe recently may have moved into the Bardo. Um, I'll have to double check that. I'm not sure. I think he did perhaps recently die. Um, but the fact that even someone um, as renowned for uh, his spiritual work has to sort of accommodate a virtue to our hustle culture speaks volumes to me. And I still like this quote. I love this quote. But just now as I was reading it, that kind of struck me that he even had to find a way to pitch it and sell it, you know, to to the, the general public that rest is important because, oh, it allows us to clear our minds, focus, and find creative solutions to problems. Yeah, and, and that's very important, but it just, it I don't know, it just, uh, it just struck me that that was maybe, maybe an accommodation. But anyway, so what I have written here and I don't know if I'll read all of this because I don't want to, I don't want to, it's, it's much more fun, I think, if you read it yourself and uh, it gets monotonous to listen to somebody read on, on a video. Rest is instrumental to health, fitness, and well-being as it provides what is necessary for recovery from exertion and stress and plays a major role in regulating the endocrine system. The endocrine system, as you know, is our hormonal system, our hormonal signaling. It affects everything, metabolism, mood, digestion, everything. Sleep is so important to our overall health, functioning, and development that whole disciplines in medicine, psychology, and neuroscience are dedicated to its study and the treatment of sleep disorders. Our need for sleep will change throughout our lifespan. Infants sleep on average 16 to 18 hours a day. Children and teens require an average of 9 to 10 hours, and adults generally require 7 to 9 hours of daily sleep. Adults over 60 years old may find they sleep fewer hours may wake more frequently during their sleep-wake cycle, and may sleep less deeply. The circadian rhythm, a biological function that regulates our sleep-wake cycle, relies on environmental cues such as temperature and uh, perhaps especially light. When these cues are abnormal, as when workers take on night shifts or alternating shifts, this disrupts our circadian rhythm. Inadequate sleep and rest, as well as altered sleep or sleep disturbance, 
disrupt the circadian rhythm and cause downstream neuroendocrine effects that involve reproductive health, but also cardiovascular, cognitive, and emotional dysregulation and decline. Dreaming is another important aspect of sleep that's important for emotionally processing the day's events and assist in consolidating memory. Dreams are a fountainhead of communication from the unconscious and deep exploration of dream imagery can be a fascinating dive into our psyche. Um, I recommend keeping a dream journal and I, uh, I do recommend it and I did that for a semester when I took a, a class on, um, I guess it was on creativity, I can't remember, one of my psychology classes. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, and lately I haven't been, but I think journaling of any and all kinds is important and I want to get back to it. And in fact, as I've told you, if you've been following me, and I know there's about two of you that have, um, maybe three or four <laughs> from the beginning, um, is that, that I find that um, YouTubing, and I've heard other people say this, other people that uh, are, are operating a channel, uh, that YouTubing feels like journaling to them, and it does to me. But let me get back to my um, writing. I recommend keeping a dream journal and working with dreams in the daytime hours to deepen our self-awareness. But sleep is not the only type of rest we need and deserve. We need time for leisure activities, play and exploration, creativity, and recovery from the exertion and stress of both work and exercise. Our minds need a break from routine and stressful demands and our muscles require time off from exertion in order to repair and rebuild. As we spend time in the sacrament of movement, developing our mind-body relationship, building strong bones and muscles, and increasing our physical endurance, we must allow the body to adapt through the sacrament of rest i.e. the principle of recovery, so rest and recovery, which is what I'm still doing myself. Um, how much recovery or rest we require will depend on the type, intensity, and duration of the physical exertion. I would also say, or if you're recovering from an illness, the type and intensity, severity of your illness. In general, it is advised that we rest between 48 and 72 hours between demanding activity sessions of a similar type. During recovery, it's fine to engage in lighter activities and vary your activity type to allow muscle groups adequate recovery. For instance, if I engage in a 20 minute resistance session on Monday, I will want to wait until at least Wednesday to train the same muscle group at the same intensity. In the meantime, I can choose to go for a swim, walk, take a ballet or yoga class, um, or simply a walk in nature. And nature is another one of our sacraments. You see how this is all like woof and warp. It's, it's a tapestry. So some movement daily is a good practice, but there is no shame in taking a full rest day if you are quite exhausted or ill. I think I'm gonna stop reading because uh, I've got like a whole other page or something. This is a really short book. I really, I would love for for you guys to, to pick it up, read it. Um, get a hold of me in the comments and uh, we will find a way to connect and work through this book together if you'd like. If not, just take what I'm saying and incorporate it into your own, into your own life if it um, registers for you, if it clicks, if it feels right and offers you some kind of medicine. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about that and talk about, oh, I gotta be careful talking about COVID, but um, it's real, it's out there. And uh, some of the public health measures that were 
starting to be put in place in the beginning got so much pushback from conspiracy theorists that uh, I think very important pieces of public health have been dismantled. So I'm just going to encourage you to remember to wash your hands. Um, if you know that there's been COVID like in your, in your town, your neighborhood, just be extra careful, mask. I know some people are really like have an issue with it, but honestly, you don't want this. Um, I'm feeling okay. My husband almost wound up in the hospital. Um, his oxygen saturation got really low. His heart rate got really high. His temperature got really high. I've never seen him other than when he had food poisoning that sick. Um, and this is my third COVID infection. And I had the Pfizer bivalent last year. So, you know, and I take care of myself. I, I, um, I eat pretty well um, and I move and I get lots of sunlight, which is important and evidence-based um, to boost immune, immune uh, function and mitochondrial function. So um, I do all the things and I still got sick. So just, I would really like to encourage us all to go a little bit back to some of our former vigilance and uh, try to keep yourself safe and keep your neighbors safe. You know, do unto others as you would have done unto you means you care about trans transmission. You know, we humans are vectors of viral illnesses. Um, and so care, care for yourself, care for others and rest. Um, so today, like, I spent a little bit of time outside and captured a little bit of footage, and then I played a little bit with my paints, and I did this filming, and that's probably gonna be about, about it for me, and I'll probably just lay in bed and do a little reading and watch uh, YouTube videos. Yay, it's my favorite thing. Um, uh, but um, yeah, so I'm on the mend, but this, this shit be real. And um, I just encourage you to do all the good things that you know you need to do. Mindfulness, healthy food, movement, community, nature, rest, gratitude. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate anyone who comes and spends time with me. Hail and blessed be.